In the last episode, we explore beautiful coral gardens, we trek to the top of a haunted hill, we check out some blowholes, and we race against time so we are not eaten alive. This week, we do a review on the half cockpit of the Leopard 50. We explore an underwater sea aquarium, and we dive a plane wreck with a checkered history. We also dive spectacular underwater caves. We wake up to another glorious day in Wardwick Wells and today we're off to explore the awesome land and sea park in the Exumas. So we're leaving Wardwick and heading further south. It's like we're going through this cut out to the ocean going to be a little rough. Let's go to the aquarium. Exactly where it is, or you're guessing? Yep. Guessing. Do you want the map? It doesn't help. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit of paradise right here. Oh my god, look at that water. Oh. <laughs> 
So what are you doing? I'm placing this stone up on the Zen um, sculpture and when you place it, you make a wish. I wish that I was in paradise with the love of my life. <laughs> oh, guess what? <laughs> Your wishes have come true! <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this place. It's just glorious. There are so many cool dives to do here in the Bahamas. This plane wreck is another result of the notorious drug running racket that took place here in the Bahamas in the 70s. So where are we going? Well, we are, obviously we're in the Bahamas and the Exumas and we are at a small group of islands called Rocky Dundas, which is at the bottom of the Exuma Land and Sea Park. And these are meant to have ca caves with stalagmites and stalactites and apparently we have to go there at low tide. But, um, but the entrance is really hard to, to see and we're hearing crashing waves inside the, the cave. So it's kind of a little bit ominous, but... Yeah, so we're just sitting 
outside in about five meters of water and they've got mooring balls um, just over a little bit where you can tie your dinghy up but then after that we're not really sure there's a sign that says you on know, the top of the whole uh, island on the top of the island but this is the park. Um, not really sure but yeah. I'm sure it'll be good fun and we'll go exploring yep yeah. okay let's see what okay. we can find see you guys The king sitting in the middle of a queen. Dundas caves with stalagmites and stalactites and definitely come here at low water we're gonna head back out now Our subscribers have often asked us to give more details about certain features of the Leopard 50. So today we're going to talk about the aft cockpit. One of the really nice things about the aft cockpit in the Leopard 50 is the fact that it's completely covered so it's completely protected from the sun. You are also in easy contact with the person at the steering station and they are not isolated from the other guests. 
obvious things are that it also seats eight to ten people quite easily, and there's the option of having the refrigerator and as also well. The fridge. Voila! I love the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> and this is oh. another addition which is super cool. When it's hot, or even when it's not hot, you can open this right up and you've got inside outside. And because we've got the clears all done and they're virtually, you know, like a room, you can put the air conditioning on in the boat and it'll come out here. Um, yeah, so this area right here becomes air conditioned. So how good is that? Yeah. It's really good. We would definitely recommend complete drop downs that are waterproof. This means that you can use the aft cockpit in all weathers, including when we set out a cyclone in Fort Lauderdale. It was absolutely wonderful. We have mentioned this before, but I would recommend absolutely having the drop downs being 100% shade and not partial shade, because when you do get to the tropics, you are just killed by the sun if you don't have full shade. We also found that the sun shining through the steering station down into the cockpit, as well as the sun shining in through the aft section, despite our tiger bar with solar panels. So I would absolutely recommend 100% shade cloth for the steering station surrounds and the aft section of the aft cockpit. So that's what we're talking about with the drop downs that open up like uh, a tent flap, basically funneling the uh, nice fresh air inside. It is an absolutely fantastic space, but made even more functional and more protected with fully waterproof and sunproof drop downs. We've had a beautiful day today. What have we done? Goodness me. We've... One in the sea aquarium. We're down to the um, back cave with the stalagmite stalactites. Mm -hmm. We've done a few other things. Uh, beaches, isolated beaches all by ourselves. Oh, with the, the, the wreck as well. We, the, we, and the we, wreck, we, the we plane wreck. The plane wreck. Yeah. So it's been Look. a wonderful day. Big day. Spectacular scenery. All in the space of about eight miles. And here we are now at this anchorage. Is. Compass key. Compass key. I have to think about that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's why the paws. Oh, look how the sand looks pink. Sand looks pink because of the sky. How cool is that? If you have liked this episode, hit the like button, subscribe for free and ding the dong so you don't miss your fix of the next exciting episode. Love and help from the Barefoot Doctors. So honey, where are we going? We're going to Rocky Dundas. No, no, Dundas. <laughs> I meant to say Dundas. Okay, take two. <laughs> <laughs>